Okay. okay. Welcome to Gearhead Country. I'm your host, Ian Rome, and we are at the Country Music Association of Ontario's Awards for 2014. And I'm here with none other than Jason Blaine. Thanks for having me on your show. Finally, I know. great to have you. We've, we've been close a couple times. We're trying to set it up for a while. Boots and hearts, we've been close, but finally we're here. So Glad to be here. Thanks. It, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Right so, you're a big car guy. Let's cut right to the chase. I know you're I know you're a big car guy. Well, I can appreciate a good car. I love the car we rode over in today, the Bel Air. What year was that? That was a 1956. 56 Bel Air. Awesome. Not my, not my Bel Air. It was a, a friend of mine. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Like but all you car guys, you all, you all hang out in the same circles here in Ontario. Well, same thing. Yeah. yeah you run know, all. In your area, you tend, you know, cruise nights and everything. Right. Else. Everybody knows each other's cars. When you see yeah. them. Now, with you, cars and the imagery of the road come up a lot of, in your writing and in the songs that you do sure. and perform. So, yeah. where does that stem back from for yourself? Well, I think for me, back in 2008, I had a song out on the radio called My First Car. It was on my album, Make My Move. And, uh, you know, that song, when we were writing that, that record, I was thinking a lot about, you know, my first car and, and that sense of freedom. It's more than, your first car is more than just a car, right? You know, it's, it's that, uh, you know, for me it was, I worked all summer to pay twice as much Six years. as I should have paid yeah. for, this, for this thing. I thought it was great. It wasn't great. No. It was a 1987 Nissan Sentra hatchback. <laughs> red, with three hubcaps. <laughs> But uh, but it was I thought that you know that car Pretty cool I saw it and just had to have it because I was 15 at the time I yeah. saw it got my license at 16 worked all summer bought it yeah. and uh, I had my first car there's a lot of truth in that song the lyrics yes, that's pretty much that's pretty much I a song it. you I, lived, I think everybody's lived that and I think that that's why it really still to this day you know here oh, we yeah. are in 2014 now and people are still you know requesting that song yeah. and, and you know coming out to the shows and singing right along with every word. And so you know, I think that I think for people, you know, everybody remembers that where they were at different stages yeah. in life. You know, I remember the car that we brought our first daughter home from the hospital. And, yeah. You know, and, and that every vehicle has a memory. So I think that that's why that's why there's always this, this romanticism with cars, and especially cars. You know, like yeah, that's that. That's yeah, fantastic. That, that's exact. That's the heart of what Gearhead Country is. And right. Again, what we're trying to do. Another song that you do that's close to my heart is They Don't Make Them Like That Anymore. Thank you. I, I thought about, I got shivers thinking about my father. When, when the first time I heard it, I thought it was fantastic. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent Thank song. You. That's a very true song. Every lyric, we, we took care to make every, every lyric in that song true to the story of my grandparents who are still doing great. They've been married 59 yeah. years uh, and they're still living happily you know, in Pembroke, Ontario, my hometown. And uh, I, I just uh, had lunch with them just two yeah. days, as a matter of fact. And uh, it's very nice to see them. And, you know, I think that that's, that's a reflection of country music. Yeah. And, you know, country music has always been about true life and, and real songs. And so, you know, that we're up to over half a million views on YouTube of that song. And I think that's why. I think people yeah. are sort of drawn to that, you know, that love story. So I thought it made a great country song. So thanks for bringing it sure. Well, even the other part of that that was nice is that, uh, you know, basically you've got the you've got the rivalry in there between the Chevy and the Ford as exactly. well coming yeah. out in it. Now, That's very true. Out, but, uh, Chevy guy or Ford guy? Well, I will say that on, on so my grandfather in the song is on my mom's side of the family. That's my mom's father. And on my dad's side of the family, my, my late grandfather was a Ford guy. And so I kind of grew up with my dad in Ford trucks and stuff. But I'm very much aware of this friendly family, family rivalry, you know, about Chevy versus Ford and all that. You know, I guess I would have to say I lean more Ford guy, for yeah. sure. You know, um, but. Um, but uh, the Chevy, the front grill on the Chevy looks real nice, doesn't it? Right? They look pretty mean. I agree. But, uh, but no, I, I'd be, uh, I guess I'd be that for 50 guy. All right, awesome. Well, from the Country Music Association of Ontario Awards, this is Gearhead Country, and thanks to Jason Blaine. And uh, we're going to hopefully, we're going to have some more Jason Blaine on Gearhead Country as time goes by. So once again, thank you. Thank you, man. Awesome. Yeah, right on. All right. See you, everybody. Let's get our coveralls on, our tools out, and get back to some more Gearhead Country.